it's time to start dealing with levels. The problem is the architectural underlay and the structural underlay have a bunch of levels in them, but we only have two. Levels meaning floor plans or elevations. See, under our floor plans, we just have two defaults, one and two. I don't even know what these are supposed to mean, but we're going to figure it out. What I'd like to do is actually copy in the levels from the architectural model. We're going to copy them in such a way, though, that it keeps a live monitor. If the architect moves a level, we'll get a coordination alert the next time we open our model up. So to get started, what we need to do is we need to go to a south elevation. To go to a south elevation, we learned that in the project browser, we can scroll down to elevations south, or if you want, you can zoom in on this elevation marker here. A double click on this little hat or the arrow, if you double click right there, this will actually physically open up that elevation. It's pretty cool. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I see that we have a bunch of levels and it's a little bit confusing. One thing I want to do is turn off the levels in my structural model because we have a bunch of extra levels and I just don't wanna see them. Now. There's something that you're going to do right now that you're going to be doing forever. It's called Visibility Graphic Overrides. In the Properties, you can either click Visibility Graphic Overrides Edit button, or what we'll be doing is typing VG for Visibility Graphic Overrides. Now, keep in mind, the Visibility Graphic Overrides are only for the south elevation that we're in. Any other view, the overrides we do here aren't going to affect it. What I'd like to do is I want to go down to Revit Links. I want to select my structural model. And for my display settings, if we click on by host view, then we go to custom. I'd like to go over the annotation categories. Under annotation categories, I'm going to hit the drop down and go custom. Now, welcome to Revit. It looks at everything in terms of objects as opposed to layers. If we want to turn something off, we don't go searching for a layer, we search for the actual object that we're gonna turn off. What I wanna do is I wanna scroll all the way down till I find levels. Now I wanna uncheck levels. I wanna click apply, click okay, click apply, and then click okay. Notice that we've turned them off in the structural model. If you type VG and you stay on model categories, or go to annotation categories, these two items are contained within the model. So here, if I scroll down to levels, we'll see that levels are turned on. We've only overridden the levels in the structural model. So click cancel here. Now, here's our two default levels. They're named differently, but I'll show you why. I'm gonna select level two right on the line right here. And I'm gonna click on this little grip. I'm gonna pick and hold and I'm gonna drag it over to the right. Notice that we have two levels in our model, but if we hover over this level, this is the level in the architecture model. As you can see, we're way off. The first thing I wanna do is select level two, and I want it to be at the same elevation as the architectural level two. So I'm gonna click where it says 4,000, and I'm just gonna type 5486, and hit enter, and level two will now go up to 5486. I'm gonna hit escape a couple times. Now here's what we need to do. We need to copy these levels into our project. So I'm gonna to go to the Collaborate tab, and I wanna click the Copy Monitor dropdown, and I wanna select Link. Now I'm gonna hover over one of these architectural items and I'm gonna pause it for a second to make sure I'm clicking the right one. Linked Revit model architectural Revit one. So this is the one I want, so I'm gonna pick it. Now in my tools, what I need to do is click on copy. I wanna select multiple. Now I'm gonna hold down my control key. I'm gonna grab level three, level four, level five, and this is actually their roof level. You can't see it, but we're gonna click it. I'm gonna pick on level roof. Now I'm gonna click on finish. Now what I'm gonna do is go down to these two levels and notice we're still in copy monitor. I'm gonna hit escape a couple times 
This time I'm just going to click monitor because we already have these two levels. So I'm going to select monitor. I'm going to select level two. I'm going to select level two again. I'm going to select level one. I'm going to select level one again. We're not going to have anything down on the top of footing, so I'm not too worried about that. To verify that it worked, we have a little heartbeat icon. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now I'm just going to click on finish. But what I'm going to look at here is I'm going to select level four. I'm going to pick it where it says 3D and I'm going to drag it out till it lines up with the levels below it. You'll see level two has a blue datum. Level three does not. All the ones we copied actually do not. The problem is we don't have a corresponding floor plan that goes along with the level we just created. That's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to hop over to the View tab, and we're going to go Plan Views, and we're going to go Floor Plan. Notice that Level 3, 4, 5, and Roof are missing. So I'm going to grab Level 3, 4, 5, and then Roof. Now I'm going to click OK. But where did they go? What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down till we find Power. The floor plans are under power. So I'm going to right click on one power. I'm going to rename. I'm going to call it level one. Click OK. I'm going to right click on two power. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it level space two. I'm going to click OK. Now level one, two, three, four, five, and roof. Now we're all set. Up here, notice that we have closed hidden windows. We can click that if we get a bunch of windows open. Click Close Hidden Windows. I'm going to go to a 3D view. And our levels are all created.